UFO identified. Peter, please take Jean back to the car. I must get this run, run, Minister. Colonel Stryker, how do you do? A shattering business, Colonel. The Prime Minister's already at Checkers. We'll be there in 30 minutes. We've been in communication in Paris, Moscow, Bonn. During your visits, I think the British government approval will be formality. The evidence is conclusive, if I might. Surely, Captain Colonel, it may speed things up. My God, the clincher is at the back. It's a large frame for a sim film, sir. It couldn't possibly be a fake. The film was found undeveloped, still in the front camera. Gentlemen, take my word for it. Keep pace for the escort. I'll take the file, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning, Miss Elland. Report thinking messages. Information. Q21. Answer negative. Q46. Satellite link effective. Q9700. The computer reads out. Available for t- today. Put them straight through to me. Yes, sir. Mr. Freeman, you'll see you, sir. To see you, sir. All right, Mr. Freeman. Let's get the girl with section. Call me Alec. So don't. That inflame, doesn't that inflame your jealousy? Obviously it doesn't, but soft. What light through yonder window breaks is it to the east and Juliet is the sun. Voice print positive identification 97. Freeman Alec E. Good morning, sir. Good morning. You're new, aren't you? Uh huh. Must have passed all the tests, all of them, I bet. Patrick, morning. Alec, morning, Pete. What, what kept you? That won't keep you a moment, Alec. Trouble. Why else would I send for you? Take a look at this. That's Westbrook Electronics. Yeah, that what's left of it. What happened for ten years? There have been setbacks. We had an accidents, miscalculations, errors of judgment, and other mishaps. They put Westbrook Electronics down to the other mishaps. You mean the UFO? Well, there's no proof. Bang goes your ironic project. Just we had something to locate them. Electronic, electronic equipment safe. Yeah, it wasn't in the building. It's intact, fully tested and ready for shipment. A breakthrough shadow have had the moon base and other satellites operational for the past two, three months. There, there have been sightings, but no interceptions. We got the teeth. Soon we have the eyes, Freeman. You know how important this is to our, our organization. The electronic design team and equipment are ready for in LA. We've flown here to England. I'm making you responsible for security of the entire organization. I mean, you personally, right? It might as well, it might be well sit, well, since you let, let, you landed at SST. This says Paula's personal service. Shadow control, this is Seagull X-ray. Confirm arrival, Stevenson base, Los Angeles 035. Takeoff scheduled 1100, 11.00 hours. Roger, Seagull X-ray, call moon base, are you? Yes, sir, status check, target, and affirmative. Magnetic field check, saturation density, green. Renazinator, affirmative. Code, okay, deplacements, go, filters, check, f- fluctuation, affirmative reflex. Excuse me, right? Shadow control for you, Lieutenant. Lieutenant, right, Lieutenant S. Good morning, Gay. I have some action for you. I want, I went... Want to see moon base put on yellow alert from 1045 to track Seagull X-ray. It's carrying shallow VIPs in your own equipment. Let's keep everyone on their toes. Can't afford to take chances. Roger, Joan. Announce a yellow alert for 1045. Yes, Lieutenant. And complete the status check. I think they'll be, this will be for real. I'm going to take a break. I'll be back at 10.30. Okay, moon base will be on yellow alert from 10.45 Earth, absolute, absolute time. That's time, right? Repeat, 10.45 EET. All space trackers to be fully operational by 10.45 EET. Astronauts to be on ready. Be on standby. Jo- Joanna, be right with you, though. No hurry. I want to run a computer check on the interceptor systems in 10 minutes. Hi, Gay. Hello, Lou. Do you think this could be it, Lieutenant? Looks like it, you, Lou. XSC travelling at Smack 4. Pretty tempting target, particularly as it's carrying the new ironic equipment. Hello, Ken. Hi, 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 Mark. Gay, okay, this alert. What do you think? Another false alarm? Don't think so, Mark. So this time it could be real. Could be, I guess. We could all do about 
bit of action. I could do a cup of tea, coffee, sure, thanks. But Sky Driver, put Sky Driver in the picture. Yes, sir. Message from Shadow Controller, control, sir. Yellow of 1045. Right. Last entry. Did you send it? Yes, sir. We fully scheduled, transmitted. On security, bay for code B. Sorry, sir. How long have you been here? Two years, sir. Two years long enough to know how important security is to Shadow. Right in his headquarters, controlling moon base, the satellites, and fleet of submarines is 80 feet below the film studio, right? Now, 400 people work up there. Not one of them knows that all, the, all, all these, uh, this is this. I have to play games, pretend to be the Shadow's chief executive. No one ever dreams that the real, f- f- what the real function is. That's what's, that's what security is all about. I'm sorry. Sometimes it's pretty difficult. Difficult. So you think it's diff, so you think it's difficult, huh? Hawthorne? Well, I'll tell you what's difficult. Have you ever thought about the victims of UFO incidents? Have you ever considered their parents, brothers, sisters? What do you do? Tell them. They can never know the truth, so they live in agony for years, praying that someday their loved one may turn up. <clears throat> Clean to the thread of hope. Don't ever tell me that security is difficult. Sometimes it's pretty close to home. Your alert stands for in, starts in two minutes, sir. Be right with you, Stevenson Base. This is at Seagull X-ray. Lift off, check, oh, complete. Lift off clearance. Roger X-ray, Seagull X-ray. You're clear to go. Nina, Nina, turn to 45. Right, brakes off at spare speed building. VAR, rotate. This is moon base calling SID. This is space intruder detector. Pass your message. Seagull X-ray carrying VIPs. Ironic equipment is airborne. Please prepare progress of aircraft until further notice. Keep sharp lookout for UFO. Please stand, pass your code so your instructions can be compiled with Compiled with it. Compiled with. Stand by to receive, receive code. Stand by. Thank you. Your code is correct. I have ski, ski, sky, ski, seagull x-ray on scanner to, scanners. It's a course. Speed 15 knots. Moon base computers confirm. Course correct. Airspeed 1500 knots. Right. Maintain tracking. Air hypo drains. Tech complete, sir. Okay, zero, steel, zero, four, two. Steel, four, zero, four, two. Zero, four, two, maintain. Present speed. Presence maintains, maintain speed. 40 knots, take over, Bill. I have, uh, do, I have to do my stuff with the passions. Right, Miller. Good morning, Colonel X Freeman. Oh, Colonel. I, I like to collect you and your team. This could be a breakthrough. Not my team, Colonel. May I introduce you to our chief, our chief designer, Virginia Lake. How do you do, Colonel? For the first time, I wish I was flying supersonic aircraft. A trip will take longer. Just in case anyone's interested, I'm Paul Wade. How are you? It looks like the answer to, our prayer, to all our prayers. Would you like to see the ironic equipment, Colonel? I think that your equipment is fabulous. I'm familiar with it, really. Yes, I know what a neutronic what a neutronic beam travels. That a neutronic beam travels instantaneously, almost instantaneously. We'll be able to detect the UFO flying many times the speed of light in deep space. Go on. So our moon base interceptors have a chance to destroy them before they reach the Earth. Very good. I could tell you more over dinner. Haven't you better get back to your li- your little your little seat up front? I suppose so, as I'm seeing, uh, I'll be seeing you, Colonel. You're right. You're familiar with equipment. Okay, everything okay? Yes, sir. No need to, no sign of any activity. Good. In 30 seconds, four, three, two, one, zero. Can we read out a pressure gate, gate, fuel gauge? You're reading? It'll be in my office at right, sir. E-O-O-O-U-I, affirmative. The induction is positive. Indication positive, Roger. We estimate turbo eight four nine zero. Wave band four zero four. Red alert, red alert. UFO four two eight one six four six green. Got it. Four two eight four six green. Speed S O L eight. Directory termination. Came out. This is moon base to shadow control. 
predicted tra- trajectory in termination, North Atlantic, speed SOL8, going through intersection, out interceptors, immediate to launch, interceptors, immediate to launch. Inceptors go, right, this is moon base to all shadow stations. Moon base to all shadow stations. UFO sighted. Four, two, eight, one, f- four, six, green. Will report. Attention. All defense systems. This is maximum security alert. Attention. All defense systems. I say again, this is maximum security alert. Condition red. Speed one. And a half million miles per second range, seventy million miles. Right. Okay. Yes. So, yes. Seventy five million mile. Seventy million miles. Maintaining S O L eight. Red one. Two nine. Zero four six. Directory still as predicted. Lieutenant, I've green on interceptors. One and three. Moon base to interceptors. Set missile control program. Right, NTC reading one zero one two six four one zero missile timing two four nine six missile program completed range right eight million miles closing seven million miles missile firing so five decimal four seconds Roger detonation confirmed negative it's through it's though it's through don't just sit there Warm sky driver and get me Alec Freeman. Yes, sir. Uh, gentlemen, Miss Lake Shadow Control informed me a, sh- a UFO is approaching North Atlantic. We must assume the aircraft is a target. We're reducing height to take advantage of cloud cover. This means we have to reduce speed in the dense atmosphere. So will the, so will the UFO. They increase shadow's chances of intercepting it. Yes, it does. I suggest you fasten your seatbelts. Don't worry. I'll be okay. It'll be okay. Anyway, we have dinner date. I want anything to have fear of that. Thank you, Roger. UFO entering visual speed range. Radar, radar or visual alert. Zero decimal four. UFO and track, spec, track speed Mach 5. Latest one decimal zero four seven. Stand by for new course. Thank God for the atmosphere. It's the best protection we have. Positive radar fix. We're on it up to Skydriver now. It, well, it's up to Skydriver now in position. So, right, stand by. Four, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Launch stations, launch stations. Clear one, one clear, clear two, two clear. Ready for takeoff. So, uh, lift off stations, lift off stations. Checking boosters. Circuits, cut boosters. Okay. Cut boosters.
Tube circuit's okay. Cutting boosters. Relays okay. Good luck, Skipper. Interlocks engaged. Stabilised gyros. Trigger circuit's okay. Right standby for liftoff. Shadow control from Sky 1. Airborne. Position 0 two, zero red. Roger, Sky 1. Airspeed down to 600 knots. Right. Lower seat heat shield. Right. These clouds give as much cover as G-string on the belly dancer. Sky 1 to Seagull X-ray. May I am I glad to hear you glad to hear you. What's the position? Right above at twelve thousand Sky One to Skull Seagull X ray. Have have X have UFO screen closing rapidly. Roger ten degrees port. Right. UFO at twelve o'clock. You are the target. Coming to in attack, UFO and clouds. Keep a sharp lookout, Roger. Hold her, hold her steady, Sky One to shadow control. Reporting direct hit on UFO. Gonna crash in the sea. Good shooting. Come in Seagull X ray. Alec, are you okay? I aged about five years, but we were I've aged about I've aged about five years, but we're in one piece. Sky one, follow it down, Captain. Use your recognition when the condensance cameras will order. We'll do. Went straight under. It seems to be breaking out. Hold it. There's a body. Please confirm. Did you say body? Yes, it's the body. How's it doing, Alex? Everything's... How's it going, Alex? Everything's fine. Good, good. Moon base. The other stations will have you your next system operational within a week. That's great. You're tired, Alex. Help yourself to drink. Thanks. Think I may it will. You never touch it, do you? Oh, self-control. Maybe drinking makes needs more self-control. When does it arrive? Any time. Now we waited a long time for this. Yes, ten years. It's been ten years since we first have first confirmed, first confirmed a UFO landing. UFO landing on Earth. Yes, that was a decade of speculation, reports, official denials. You name it. You know, Alec. When I was made commander of Shadow, I thought it was going to. It was all going to happen. You know, done a good job, the best. Well, I tried, but how far we progressed. I mean, what do we really know about the UFOs? What are they? Where do they come from? What do they want? Yes, Mayland Hospital. Shadow section. Your special patients arrived. They used the underground corridor 32 to Shadow Medical Center. Right. Well, maybe some of the answers will, are coming in right now. Well done, Peter. Thanks. You wanted a debriefing. Right. See you later. What's the position, Doctor? Alive but in critical condition. The chance, the chance of survival is equipped with an advanced apparatus and able to breathe liquid. Helmet was removed when we picked it. He picked up, attempt to make it, it was made to restore normal breathing, but still the liquid left in, left, but there's still liquid left in his lungs. So not too early to say yet. Excuse me. Space travel is a liquid environment. Just, what are you experimenting with? Apparently they've done it. I must ask you to leave, right? Let me know the moment you have anything, Doctor, Commander. Body temperature, 30 degrees of para- paranormal blood pressure, low. Muscular development, poor. The skin is artificial, colour, green colour. Probably for the liquid. However, hair isn't picked up this, picked up this tint, suggesting liquid may contain bio, aquatic leak compound. The eyes are protected by plastic shells. Supports this theory. Well, I know more about them than we get the computer readout. The first electronic medical check. It had been a few minutes. A man was from the solar system. Perhaps a hundred million million years from Earth. It's incredible. What is it? We can't be certain yet. But this test shows organ and land transplants. Heart, liver, lung. L- liver. Left lung. Thyroid. Do you realize what this means, Alec? It's still very, very fat for about, for after almost 10 years of possible probability and confirmed UFO attacks. Fat on a number of fully documented occasions. Mutated bodies found after UFO attacks. Organisms missing. Organs missing. Fact, electrical examination. The first alien we get shows tra- organ transplants. The doctors 
I'm certain not, no, not yet. I bet that your proof lies at the end of the, that corridor, Dr. Schroeder. To the care unit. We have emergency. I'm afraid he's dead. How can I, when can I have a postmortem? 48 hours. Make it 24. Not the details. Just what really matters. The rapid aging isn't documented in the report. I'm not sure, but it's connected. Reaction to the Earth's atmosphere on the body. Gentlemen, let's concern ourselves with three main questions regarding UFOs. UFOs. One, where did they, do they come from? The fact that the lungs were filled with oxygenated liquid seems to indicate a subjective to phenomenal acceleration and fantastic speed over a long period. Long enough for the skin to pick up green coloration in liquid. All this would appear to add up to an extended journey through space. Perhaps seven months at many times the speed of light. Question number two, who are they? Obviously in science and technology, 700 years in advance of man. Everything in this report seems to add up to a dying race. Heritary sterility, sterility is evident. But by using drugs and advanced transplant techniques, they found a way to stop the natural aging process. They're also highly intelligent. So they come to Earth knowing the risk of contact with our atmosphere. Which brings us inevitably to question number three. Why do they come? This report indicates five major organ and gland transplants. In the case of the heart tissue compatibility test, so it was a heart human origin. origin. It came from an earth, gen- it came from earth gentleman. Therefore, for one reason, they must, they must obviously come to maintain organ replacements. There may be other reasons. Imagine a dying planet, some distant corner of the universe, its natural resources exhausted, its animals sterile, habits sterile, doomed to extinction, a st- situation we may one day find ourselves in. Gentlemen, so they discovered earth abundant and fertile, able to satisfy their needs. They took upon us, they look upon us not with an animosity, but with callousness. We look upon, as we look upon our animals, we depend for them for food. Yes, it appear they are driven by circumstances across a billion miles, across a billion miles of space, driven by one great force in the universe, survival. Check on its test, sir. There's, poss- there's no possible doubt, sir. No, sir. Electronic tissue analysis. Positive as a voice print. Right, you wanted to tell me something? Yes, I wanted to have a word for you before you flow out. It's about your, my sister, isn't it? Yes, I'm afraid she's dead, Peter. There's no longer any doubt. I think. I know how sorry I am. What happened? I don't think you'll like to know the details. I like, think, I think I'd like to know. Sister's last seen of the center UFO incident. Nearly ten years ago, its alien recovered from the sea, underwater, uh, from the underwater, from the sea underwent, underwent intense medical examination. Heart was transplanted. The heart was transplanted. I don't know, it was Lisa, Carlin. What will you tell your parents? I don't know you. Of course. You realize, of course, you can't, they can't ever know the truth. A funeral without a body, a symbol of human compassion. Long thing of tragic coincidence, stretching across a billion miles of space. This is the end of the beginning. Wherever does, where does the universe end? Where does it begin?